Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to the Night Witch. It is, it's sort of a Metroidvania, but I think you're flying the whole time. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and it's been on my, like, up, uh, anticipated up upcoming games lists. I don't know, I have, like, lists everywhere, and Night Witch is pretty universally at the top of quite a lot of them, so I'm hoping it holds up. But now we get to stare at this frozen cat as we load. I should mention this is a demo, it's not out yet, and you can play the demos yourselves, or the demo yourself if you want to. I think it's included as part of the next fest, but they released the demos early, which I love the developers do, because one week is not enough for all these games. All life could have ended 14 years ago. It almost did. For the first time in history, the whole world was unified under a single banner, the House of Daigadai. Daigadai? Daigadai. The Daigadai believed in technology, science, and progress. For a while, the future was bright. Then resources started to run low. In order to sustain our way of life, the Daigadai family did unspeakable things to the planet and its ecosystems. A rebel group, the Children of Gaia, appeared in response. Their divine goal? To save the planet at all costs. Well, this is kind of... fair. As the planet grew weaker, more and more people started to support them, but nothing mattered. All their efforts were in vain. Without trained soldiers or real weaponry, there are no match against the Golem army of Daigadai. That is, of course, until the Night Witches awoke. They were real forces of nature. Heroes with the ability to fly, with strength of legend and magical prow prowess, powers that defied our wildest dreams. They drew power from the people's trust. I think this illustration is not complete yet. No, it probably is. They'll just fill it out. They drew power from the people's trust. The more we believed in them, the stronger they'd become. Thanks to them, we could all be part of the fight. We simply had to believe in them with our hearts and souls. They soon became a, the face of a face of rebellion, a beacon of hope. The Daigadai trembled in fear against them. Everyone knew their names. Aruru, the Conjurer. Sikra, the Weapon Master. Irene, the Trickster. And the strongest of them all, their captain, Robin, the, Ar the Angel of Destruction. This is the story of how the Night Witches ended the war. This is the story of the Battle of the Broken Sky. Except for the character we're playing is, I don't think is any of these, I think. Unless the prologue demo is. Well, time to find out. The sky is shattered, the planet is dying. We lost after everything we've done? No, no way, we won't surrender. We'll finish the fight. There must be something we can do to save everyone. The Emperor must fall. We hold... Okay. Yeah, hold that to obliterate our enemies. My vines will protect the civilians. Push forward, Robin. Okay, I also have cards. Oops, and took some damage. Okay. I guess I should focus on dodging. I... Oh, I do have a dodge. Whoop. That is useful. Actually being able to dodge past all, all of this. Back down into safety. Or, you know, just continuously take damage like a fool. I am not the best at bullet hells. I play a lot of them, but it doesn't mean I'm good at them. Is there a secret back here? No. Okay, we also have spell cards. Oh, it's based on like a mana point system. They keep building walls. We'll keep bringing them down. Rune. Edge. Strike. Go ahead, Robin. Arena's already inside. This is it. This is our chance. We've done well, Sikra. Stay here and pr protect the perimeter. Let new golems pass. Yes, Captain. Okay, so I just... I, I am also a bullet hell. Okay. Oh, I can I can aim with this stick. Here's a whoop. Hold up. Here's a question. What if I'm using keyboard and mouse? Okay, one, two, and three. I bet this is actually easy. What cat? This is the sturdiest door I've ever seen. The emperor must be close. Uh. Oh, we can hold it open for you. This is our chance. Thanks, Irene. I got this. Robin, before you go, can I say something? The sky is falling apart. I don't know how we're going to fix this. It feels like the end. 
but I'm not afraid. If everyone can pull off a miracle and turn this around, it ha- Oh, if anyone can pull off a miracle and turn this around, it has to be you. I- I know. I can do this. I can do this. It's kind of like an off-rail shmup. With apparently Metroidvania design. I don't know how to- Okay, I now know how to dodge again. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna make it. Is the one issue. What? Wow. I do not know what they are doing up there. Hopefully you guys can't hear it too much. Robin, this is all your fault. My fault? You must be crazier than I thought. Your reckless way of life has choked the life out of the planet. It shattered the sky into pieces. What were you planning to do with all your fortunes? You knew this you knew this was gonna happen. You really don't see your role in all of this. You night witches are nothing more nothing but weapons manufactured with social engineering. Formidable weapons, no doubt about it. Better than any army money could buy. But we had to focus all of our resources into military development because of you. We didn't even have flying golems when this war started. Imagine what we could have achieved instead. Space exploration was almost in our grasp. We could have left this planet before it was uninhabitable, expanding our civilization to other worlds. Other worlds? So you could treat them as you treated this one? No, Erebus. Don't blame this all on us. If the planet is dying, you fix it. You don't just run away. You're delusional. We closed every factory like you wanted, society would have crumbled. On a dead planet, there can be no society. You'll pay for what you've done. You're nothing but a flying celebrity. I'll teach you some manners. I, okay, I don't think we're actually gonna win here, but. Make do or something. Oop. Nope, have to restart, okay. Cool, hey, but I've got all my HP, so we can do this again. Oh, social commentary. I don't know if it's social commentary. Social commentary is like saying, I don't know, maybe everybody deserves to be treated equally. Uh, this is a little bit more ecological. That, I don't know. Like, it's weird to think that the environment can be categorized as social commentary. But that might just be a me thing. Okay, so those are homing daggers. I see. Let's see. I don't know. Three. Whoop. And those are my own bullets. I actually have to get down here to hit. Uh. Ow. Oh, wait. Hand cannon. Oh, that's interesting. I have a lot more spell cards than I thought I did. And I'm not quite sure why. Oh! Wait, a shield? Okay, so does this have, like, deck building elements of it? Music's pretty good. This is ridiculous! You can't be for real! How can you be so strong? This is not my strength, it's everyone's. It flows through me thanks to the Night Witch's Link. Everyone wants you to lose, that's all. I'm fighting in their stead. You're just a bunch of ungrateful dogs biting the hand that feeds you. Everyone wants me to lose. Well then, I'm going to take everyone down. <laughs> more energy, more. What is he doing? He's going to blow everything up. At that moment, when Erebus's selfishness turned into madness, we are all connected to Robin through the link. The link goes both ways. We could send Robin our strength, but we could also feel the battle through her. That's when the miracle happened. Everyone believed in Robin. Everyone wanted her to win. There were tears in my eyes as I was connected to everyone else through her. In that moment, she was a real goddess. And she struck with the strength of one. Oh, she's struck with the strength of one. There we go. My inflection was eh. If that's how the war ended. Everybody lost. The House of Daigadai tried to preserve their way of life. They were shattered. The children of Gaia fought to save life, but the planet was bleeding through the sky and would soon die. In moments like this, when everything seems lost, that fate decides to intervene. 
In the crater formed by Robin's final attack, we discovered a network of underground tunnels. Survivors from both sides of the conflict dropped their weapons and ventured inside. We left the surface behind forever. And that's how we discovered the city of Dungeonitis, forgotten by time, a haven built by, the, by ancient giants, the Hexkari. A city built around a massive life support machine, a true blessing, a home. Thanks to Dungeonitis and the machine, we have energy, oxygen, food, and shelter, and a chance at peace. 14 years of peace. That's why we thank the Night Witches every day. Thank you, Night Witches. Thank you, Robin, with your infinite might. Huh. Alright, that's an intro. But yeah, I don't actually find it particularly weird that commentary like this is jammed in. I mean, it's if it's something that you think about all the time, of course it's going to leak into the stuff you make. And so, like, I know for me, like, I write on my spare time. I've never actually produced any of it, but it definitely has some heavy-handed messages. And so, yeah, when video games have it, it's like, yeah, of course it would show up. So, remember to get your family together and join us today in the Hanging Castle on this very first Robin's Day. I'm going to be Robin now. What? Come on, you were Robin last time. It's my turn. No, I'm a girl, so I'm Robin. You're Erebus, prepare to die. No way. I, if I can't be Robin, I'm not playing. You can't escape. I like how she's like waving happily in, in the game, but in the image, she's angry. Oh, it's funny. You can't escape from me, Erebus. You broke the sky. Prepare to pay. She looks so happy about going into Wallop her friend. I don't think those kids were ever born, were even born when the war ended. And still they talk about Robin like it all happened yesterday. She really has become a timeless legend. Anyway, gotta meet a Kai. He said he'd be waiting in the pantry. That's right ahead. So I guess we're just a witch? A Kai Bond guiding Gust. If we walk together, we'll never be lost. If you're feeling lost, press G. Cool. Okay, so I don't have any of my powers, except for I can shoot very slowly. Hey, Rain. Eh. You trained with Robin, right? Must be great to meet a legend like her face to face. You're so lucky. I guess I am. What can you tell me about her? Come on, I want some dirt. Meyer? No, we talked about this. Oh, you're no fun. Okay, question. Can I actually change the controls? Uh... Dang it. Oh, F. F might also progress dialogue. I've had to press enter this entire time. Robin's day. What a load of bull. War is the reason why we're all stuck underground. We're the ones that built dun Dungeonitis built by, uh, brick by brick. Should be the people of Dungeonitis' day, damn it. You know what? You have a point there. Shut up! You didn't even fight in the war. Marin, chill. I was agreeing with you. You're right. I guess I was jealous of her. She's awesome. That's not... Whatever. Take care. Take care, Marin. <laughs> As a point. Okay. Let's uh, not talk to everybody. There seems to be a lot of NPCs, but it's a little self-aggrandizing, kind of, sort of. There's a button map for Spell Kitty? Hell yeah, there is. What's up, dude? Hey, Rain. Over here. You ready for a surprise? Yes. What are you up to? I have to say, I'm legit curious. Well, for this whole Robin's Day thing. My group had the task of building a load of decorative lanterns that look like war golems. I know, not exactly tasteful, but since I was making them, I asked if I could keep some, and they let me take as many as I wanted. Okay? I can't really see where this is going. So the thing is, I know how you feel. We talked about this, and I can see it on your face. You didn't become a night witch, and I know that weighs on you. It was really unfair. You were like, you were all like sisters, and in the end, you couldn't help them. It was kind of blue on the anniversary of the Battle of the Broken Sky, and now they call it Robin's Day? Just thought I, you could use a release. Akai, honey, that's really nice of you, but it's okay. I did want to help save the planet, but it turns out I wasn't needed. The Night Witches were way stronger than me. I know, I know. But try this. Pull that lever over there. There's a weirdly hot Minister man. Whoa! Where did the, that come from? Ha! Do you like it? Your own shooting range. You didn't get to blast any golems in the war, but you were the best in training. Do you remember? Oh yeah, I was an ace, but that was a long time ago. You're still an ace. Blow them up! So the controller gets the auto-aim, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, that felt good. Wait, there's more. Pull that other lever. Seriously? How much work did you put into this? 
into building a secret hideout for you to blow stuff up far away from the world while people have a party in the honor of that jerk? All the time I put in was totally worth it. Come on, Robin's not a jerk. She was under a lot of pressure. Forget about her. Pull the lever, come on. Okay, now show me that thing you used to do. I loved it. Aimed with your instinct. Without looking at the targets. It's been a while. I don't know if I can still do it. Just try. Space to shoot with insect uh, instinct alone. Bullets do less damage, but you never miss your mark. Oh, that is actually really handy. Yeah! That was easy. Okay, I'm starting to think you were right. This is fun. See? I know you better than anyone. There's the third level. The final challenge. Really? Akai, you're the best. You did this just to cheer me up? I love you so much. Go try the last lever. You can try this one as many times as you want. See if you can beat my rec record of eight targets. I'll leave you having fun. I have to take these mushrooms to the market. They're waiting for me. Take as so much time as you want. You don't need to be anywhere else. I'll be at home making dinner when you come back. Thanks. I'm going to wreck your record with my eyes closed. We'll see about that. Bye. Kai, one last thing. Yep. Are you going to go to the castle to see the ceremony? Nah. I'm busy with mushrooms. You can go if you want. It's going to be a huge party. I don't want to. Honestly, I don't really like the night witches that much. To me, it feels like they turn their backs on you. I'm starting to feel the urge to blow stuff up again. Go nuts. See ya. Yeah, apparently this girl is just dating the hot Minotaur guy. I like that. Most games do not have their protagonist dating anyone, but it's kind of nice in this. Okay, final challenge. Time to see what he has in store. Let's dance. Okay, why can I no longer aim? Oh, I, it's a toggle. Okay, well, we beat, beat the record. I'm going to try it again. Okay, I really wish I had a... I really wish I had a dash. Ah! I don't know if I get anything. There we go. There we go. Got it. Rain doll! Handmade doll that looks like rain. It's really well done. All cleared. I'm the best. Fair enough. Okay, she's married to him. She said he, uh, she said he was her husband earlier. Oh. I repeat, we're under attack from an unknown enemy. Please retreat to the castle. The castle is safe. I repeat, the castle is safe. Robin is here with us. What? I couldn't hear anything up there. What's going on? The return of Dagadai? Looks like it. What is that? Are they war... Are they real war golems? Those things are deadly. This makes no sense. They were all destroyed years ago. Maybe the Daigadai survived on the surface. Okay. Oh. And yeah, it looks like these things dropped money when they died. Now, I don't have a dash yet. Let's see. Thanks for checking out the... Whoops. And Docket just went straight past that. I might have to turn that off. Uh, checking out the demo of Night Witch. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. The, I mean, the visuals are great. The boss music for the uh, the end of the prologue fight was freaking rad. Yeah, this has been on my to-do list for quite some time. I'm very glad I finally get to check this out. So, uh, boop. the door is chained. Is this for real? I have to get to the other side, even if I have to break some stuff to get there. Okay. Not having the sprint dash is a bit of a shame. Oh, little mushroomy things. What do we get? Uh, oh, so is this just a save spot, maybe? With tea! I thought that Dungeonitis was the last city of the planet, but we're being attacked? I have to find Akai as soon as possible. Let's check home first. Okay, leave, leave this. The husband is very attractive. I must have missed the thing about uh, actually being married. I just assumed... I don't know. I guess I always just assumed dating. Very, very few games have married protagonists or even protagonists old enough to be married. I oh, was there a turret here already? <laughs> okay, so that door's open too. Getting Aquaria vibes. 
I can see that, yeah. What are these? I have no idea. Oop. Bad turret. Aha! And a child in a cage. I don't believe it. You saved me. You... I mean, you? I thought Robin would come save me. That would have been so cool. She must be busy fighting a massive monster or doing something really epic. I guess she doesn't have time to be looking for cages, so thanks for helping out with that. Bye! What? 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 Wow. That's the last ungrateful child I save. A good catch with the secret there. I am going to miss so many, probably. Until I get the map, then I'm going to be maybe better about it. Oh no, what do we do? Hey you, help us, please! I... Veteran Guard is begging for help. Y'all, uh... Y'all are kind of... kind of bad. Okay, there we go. Robin, please save us. We give our thanks to you. We give thanks every day. It's okay, Gaki. It's over. That woman saved us. Really? Thanks. Thanks, miss. Thanks a lot. They're going to put us in one of those cages. They're doing it to everyone. Yes, thank you. Sincerely. You, you're flying like a night witch. How is that possible? It's a long story. Hey, you saw them putting people in cages? Did you see my husband, Akai? Oh yeah, it is husband. Nice. He's an infernal. No, miss. I'm sorry. Oh, Akai, where are you, you dummy? Do you know anything about the attack? Where do they come from? What do they want? I'm afraid we're clueless and defenseless. No one carries weapons since the last war. You'll be okay. The Night Witches will take care of things. You should evacuate to the castle with us. I've got some things to do first. You shared your link with me, so I should be able to teleport you there. That'd be super cool. Can you do that? Yeah. Evacuating civilians is a part of a uh, key part of Night Witch training. See you there. The situation is dire. We can't count on the town guard. I can't do much either. I can fend off a few golems, but they'll squash me like a bug if I'm not careful. I have to go home and retrieve my spell cards. I'm gonna need them if I if I'm supposed to help anyone. Oh, Bakai's there too. Okay, oh, so we've got that. Oh, there is a map. Hell yeah, there is a map. I guess I should have been shooting shooting for other things. Okay, most definitively can't get through any of this and don't see any secrets around here. Is that a Hokage monument in the background? It does kind of look like a Hokage monument in the background. <laughs> oh. Okay, and we do actually have some health. Not much. But it's not like I'm just going to fold the moment anything hits me. I was not looking at any of the UI. I This is maximum rude. I don't have a dodge yet, so I can't dodge through bullets. Ow. I deserved that. It's okay. I had heart, hearts. Uh, let's see. The veteran guard calls the rookie Gaki, which is Japanese and means something like kid or brat. Huh. Did not know that one. I don't watch enough anime anymore to have too much mastery over Japanese. Not that anime is particularly helpful for that, but it's got elements. I thought that dungeon... Okay, it was the same thing. Okay. These things are unnerving and I want nothing to do with it. So I think we want to go this way. Goal return home. Well, if there's mushrooms, it's home. Now here's the question. Has husband been kidnapped? Yeah, it looks like it. Akai? Akai! Oh no. Where is he? He's not here. He must be at the market. What's going on? Could they be some stray golems or something? No one would try to destroy the last bastion of civilization on purpose, right? Akai's an excellent warrior, and he's smart. The market's closer to the castle, so it should be safer. But I should still get there as soon as possible. I can't leave without my spell cards, though. I think I left them upstairs. Yes, my old spell cards. I hope they still work. I just need to find an arcane beacon to activate them. Isn't there, like, one right outside? Okay. Here. Okay. 
There it is. Okay. Edit spell card deck. Preparing a magic deck of spell cards is easier than it, than it seems. Select any card from the bank. Seeking sword, magic axe, shockwave, machine gun, uh, and runic bomb. Oh, I see. So we have destroyer, 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 weapon, and conjurer. Bombing to existence detonates as soon as it's damaged, blasting nearby enemies. Okay. Well, I think I might have broke it. Okay. Select any card from the bank. Er. I see. Trying to do this keyboard and mouse is a little... Oh, I see. So we can get a couple of different things. I see. I think I think we're good. That tutorial might need a little bit of work for the keyboard and mouse controls, maybe. Uh, all right, the cards are ready. I've never used them in real combat though, but I still remember pretty much everything from training. Okay, Rain, focus. First things first. As a night witch, I draw mana from the flow of battle. That's the theory, of course. For practice, I use these scare worms. Oh, I see. So attacking enemies gets me mana. Mana is in the bottom right, so we can do machine gun. Cool. I still got it, but I'm starting to remember. Yeah. We learned how to manifest mental training palace. It was great for trying different card combinations. Might still be able to do it if I give it a try. Okay, every night witch can manifest their own training place, a spiritual safe place to test spells without limitation. Cool, I could do that, but I think I'm fine. Yeah, so when I when I play a card, it will, uh, it'll replace, can I blast that open? Cool, I'm gonna go the other direction first though. Uh, when I play a card, it's replaced with the next one in the deck, and uh, certain cards like weapons, for example, or that hand cannon, last a little bit longer. Or, like, stick around as opposed to being, like, a one-off cast. The bomb there. Oh, that ain't it. What do we have here? I'm just gonna wander off. Oh, I see. Or this just brings us back to where we've been. Well, there's kind of a reason to open this up. Yeah, click and drag with the cards would work. Because uh, I found myself having to uh, reach over to, like, move it. Wait, dog? I had to reach over and, like, move, move things with the arrow keys? I, I don't know. It just, the natural feel would be to click and drag cards to the slots. And maybe that functions, but I can, I don't know. Uh, that's a barky dog that is pretty chill with everything else going on. Okay, and this house is scuffed. Is there anything here? No, it looks like it. But you can bark. You, I don't think you can pet the dog, but you can bark the dog. That's uh, it's like halfway there. You can interact with the dog. <laughs> Disgraceful zero out of ten. Oh, give them some credit. There were substantive dog interactions. There we go. Oof. My maximum mana is not hot. Ooh. Can I go in water? No, I cannot. You cannot sw you cannot fly in water. Which is Yeah, that's unsurprising. So when you leave, are you debarking the dog? <laughs> uh uh only if you're riding the dog? Oh, I see. That's how that how that works. Oh. And I've decided to go after somebody else instead. Alright. Ow. Yep, that did get me. Is that health still gone? Yeah, it's gone. Here we go. Okay, stay away from the explosive barrels. Which, yeah, we'll totally just yeet selves. Ouch. Okay, blast him. There. Machine gun. I think I will probably end up equipping a surprising amount of weapon cards here. 
The problem is, like I said, I'm really bad at these. F to restart. Oh, does it just... Okay, it just kicks me back here. That's not too bad. I'm not the most attentive of players. Oh, also, I don't really like the shockwave too much. This is not a feedback thing. It's just a personal preference. So, edit sp spell card deck. Swap it with bomb. There we go. Uh, it's probably fine. Can I... Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. We're good. Got plenty of bombs instead. There, he's disembarking his encounter with the dog. Huh. Yeah, the shooting definitely reminds me of Cryptarch. I, I will say, I'm I'm not the most attentive of a person, so avoiding bullets is like very much not something I'm good at, which is odd considering how many video games I play where it, it's like a core focus. I don't know, call it a personal failing. Oh, I liked that kill animation where it uh, spiraled. Why would, why did I do that to myself? Okay, try the, whoop, that's the machine gun. I wonder if there's anything with like, long range. Yup. Cause I could feel, I, I could see that working out really well for me. There we go. Okay, you seem kind of stinky. I'm gonna get up here real quick. Reason being, er, okay, toss bomb. Are they gonna hit the bomb? I have no dodge. There we go. Okay, I don't know if the bomb is much better than the shockwave, but I can at least lead enemies into it. Do you prefer characters that let you tank? Uh, from my perspective, yeah, kind of, but I think mainly I'm just really bad at estimating how big my character is compared to the space between bullets, so I'll often, uh, I will often shoot for a gap that is not big enough for me and then regret it. But I think it's also just like, I, I don't play much for shmups. Even bullet hell roguelikes I tend to stay away from. But I do have to say, like, major respect for making like a metroidvania that's completely different so even if it like doesn't immediately fit uh what i'm looking for well no it's one of those like personal preferences are really hard to cater around from like a game development perspective and so like just because i'm not a uh bullet heaven bullet hell kind of guy whoops I, does this thing just give me infinite mana yeah it looks like it Toss bomb? I don't know if that would hit. I guess we'll just go in here. That nah, didn't work. Whatever. That's what the daggers are for. Honestly, I might want to just snag a whole bunch of daggers for stuff like that. I think that'd be easy. I ran into a wall with Arc Veil, to my eternal shame. That was not an easy one. And I think is a good example of like, fantastic game, possibly just not viable for some people. That's kind of where it could go. Ah. It's kind of where accessibility options come in. But that's also something that very much has to be kind of optional to developers. Oh, you shoot the locks. Cool. Okay, then we shoot the door. Okay. It's like when you see a negative review for a great, great, great game that just criticizes the genre rather than the game itself. Yeah. Ooh. That almost looks like a weird, creepy pseudo Chozo. Oh, gosh. Creepy Chozo statue. Unfortunately, I'm also man dying. Ooh. I wonder if there's a healing spell that I can get my hands on. Because that would actually be kind of nice. Okay, so if I drop... Oh, well, that worked. I don't entirely know what I did. I kind of exploded like exploded lightly and got what I needed. Crystals. Hopefully we can spend these soonish. There's the market. Okay. And did we go down? Oh no. We kinda did. 
that looked like it was a space that I could fly on. Or fly back to- Ow, why would I do this to myself? Like I said, I'm bad. Hello. Lovely little house. Don't mind if I rob your belongings. It's fine. It's prepayment for me inevitably rescuing you, I'm sure. I had a friend who works in developer relations in the games industry. I once asked him how devs handle that sort of mean-spirited feedback. His answer was pretty much, we hire somebody to read the forums for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's... I more or less do the same thing with my YouTube vid uh, videos, and boy, what? Uh, some comments are just kind of rough. It took quite a number of years before I could uh, read, like, nasty comments and not feel something. Hey! Hey, you! Over there! Oh, I thought he had a mushroom for a hat, and I got excited. Me? Wait a minute, aren't you one of those cake-selling skeletons? Yes! Yes! Do you want a muffin? No thanks. I'm fighting a mysterious horde of golems that appeared out of thin air, and while well, trying to find my husband, who's probably in, a, in really serious danger right now. Oh! Oh, of course! Uh, that's too bad. No one's buying today for some reason. The underbaker expected us to sell a lot of muffins. What with it being Robin's Day and everything? Well, maybe it's because everyone's either been evacuated to the castle or captured by the enemy. Well, lucky me! Golems only target the living, and they pay no attention to the dead. Not at all! Good for you. I guess, underbaker. I love that. Now if you'll excuse me. Wait, wait. Let me help you. I have this oven here for muffins, but I can make other things as well. I can make you some armor! I'm a baker, not a blacksmith, though, so don't expect it to last very long. Really? I could use some armor. Do you need anything in return? No, I just need something to burn. Armor requires hotter flame, you know. The golems have been dropping these shards. Would that work? Wow, you can really sense the energy coming from them. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's give it a shot. You're a customer, then. Thanks for coming. Step into the store, and remember, I can make muffins as well. Forging armor is an exceptional, te ex ex uh, exceptional temporary thing. I know. Here, let me add a muffin sticker to your map, so you can find my shop later. Muffin sticker. Map link, deck, and inventory. Hell yeah. This is really good. Oop. Okay. Uh, let's see. Take a breath and think. I wasn't home, but he did say he was going to take some mushrooms to the market. I have to get there and check if he's over. Okay. If he's not there, I don't even want to think about it. So I think take a breath and think is mostly just to figure out what to do next, rather than no good, it'll break after a single hit. And also healing cupcake of death. Oh, I see, but it heals me on the spot. Do I buy a basic armor? Sure. Can I get multiple? No. Okay. Capped out, but it's kind of funny all the same. I'm sure Rain did not expect to save fighting mysterious golems and finding my missing husband today. Yeah. I didn't expect... I... Honestly, I, I'm still gonna go back to this. Like, I'm really... kind of pleased to have a female protagonist who's off to rescue her husband. Usually it's like dead wives and shit, and so it's kind of more wholesome, this direction. Maybe it's just a me thing, but I'm really tired of gruff, gruff dudes off with, uh, off on adventures with dead spouses, ex-girlfriends, or something in that. Not that it's necessarily like a bad trope to have, so much as it's just an overdone one. And so having a little bit of variety to spice things up a little bit is nice. It also does help that Akai is, like, a reasonably attractive dude. So it's just like, yeah, I can get behind that. That came out kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. I just... I'm all about... I don't want to say, like, different experiences from games nowadays, but it's one of those where, like, this could have been really tried and generic, but I appreciate that we're rescuing people from cages which is honestly a very Sonic thing, but yeah, it levels us up every time we grab them with a built-in world explanation for how leveling works. Ah. Uh. Because, you know, it's the personal link system. And that's something I I actually really, uh, really appreciate just from a, like, this world is very internally um, consistent. If I drop a knife, okay. It won't. Oop, nope, that didn't work. Oh, there's coins in here. I don't know what these coins are for. Okay. 
Okay, like, I don't want to go in there. I want to see if I can shoot my bomb to trigger one of them. There we go. Because as long as I can get over to this, then I'm kind of safe. Okay. So I'm not going to set any of these off. Nope. Oh, well, that would do it. <laughs> I pressed two instead of three. Whatever. Oops. I'm just pressing every wrong button. But it's fine. That worked out shockingly well for me. Ow. My armor. My health. Whatever. Like I said, I'm not built for games like this. I'm gonna gladly pay it, play it, pay it, play it all the same. Oh, interesting, the dagger stuns it. That's cool. Okay, we've got juice, we've got some health. And unfortunately I can't shoot these weird laser projectors. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, they look like they're the kind of thing you could just dismantle. But I guess that would also make the game too dang easy. Oh, oh good. You can actually just hug the top and it doesn't hit you. I just can't wait until I get safety dash. That didn't work. And we've got a grav trap here with coins. Okay. I'm trying to think of what Y, like coins with a Y on them would even stand for. And unfortunately, as somebody that has played too much Rogue over the years, all I can think of for the coin standing for is Yendor. And like, I think that's going to be stuck in my head for a while. Because yeah, Yen, Yendor, I don't know, look. Ever since I found out that Yendor just is Rodney spelled backwards, I just, it's ruined Rogue for me. Uh, let's see. So, wonder how you doing? Still hunting for houses? Yup. <laughs> it's not, uh, the most active thing, unfortunately. It was one of those that I very much would like to kind of have a rental in the area. Hello? This looks interesting. Triple Seeking Swords. Also stuns on impact. New card. I guess it really did look like a, a deck of sorts. Okay. Oh, the market is up here. Cool. I'm actually going the right direction. I'm just wandering aimlessly. Um, yeah, I don't want to have to drive seven hours just to go look at houses. Maybe any other year house hunting would have been easier. Uh, but this year is just like houses and rentals just disappear within a day. And it's just like, I don't want to... I don't want to compete with that. That sounds horrid. I can see the bomb being really good against bosses. Now that I'm thinking about it. Faruru, you're here. We're saved. I did what I could, but there's too many golems and Akai's missing and... Rain, don't try to fight him. What? One night witch down, three to go. Oh, come on. What have you done? You fly. Only night witches fly. What are you? I, I am. What are you? I should take you down as well, just to be safe. The vocal track in the background is the mysterious voice uh, it faded into existence. Made it sound like they just showed up to go, ah, at Graf. Graf, don't do it. Remember, no civilian casualties. She's not one of the four night witches. Forget her. Robin will be coming out of the castle any moment now. I need you there. Yes, your highness. This is impossible. It can't be happening. No one can defeat a night witch. They have the strength of thousands. How could you do something like that? Night witches are merely weapons of oppression. They must be decommissioned in order for people to truly be free. She was a living person. You're out of your mind. I became a weapon as well. A better one. It's as simple as that. Abraxas, new command. Apprehend any intruders. 
Don't let anyone through that door. What? Abraxas? Oh, that's an Abraxas. Go hide under a rock, I don't care. This will all be over in a matter of hours. You're not going to get away with this. Okay, Abraxas, new command, go to sleep. Obliterate. Well, it was worth a try. Time for plan B. I'll put you to sleep myself. Demolition Golem of Braxis. Unfortunately, I still have no dash. Which makes this infinitely harder. I don't know what these chains are and they scare me. Whoop! Ow. Ow. Well, that went poorly. Whoop, and I'm dead. After restart. Okay, so let's go back down in here. Edit spell card deck. We have triple knives. We're gonna replace the bombs. I'm just not big on bombs. Hard to aim. So I'm probably gonna use spacebar for a fight like this. Oh, and we're back here. Ouch. Hopefully I at least don't have to go through that cutscene again. That'd be the actual unfortunate thing. Nope, looks like we're good. Sick. Okay. Okay, yeah, he very much is Demolition Golem, unsurprisingly. Is he doing chains again? No. It's really just the chains that are the problem. Ow. Stupid rocks. Ow. Now I guess I just... Ow. Well, that sucks. I guess I have to dodge much more minutely to only lightly avoid that. Okay, cool. Try this again again. Yeah, the boss battle music is really good. Does the intro get faster every time we lose to him? Or was I pressing secretly pressing a fast forward button there? I can't tell. I appreciate that the axe destroys projectiles. I should probably use that a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Well, we've done way more damage to him this time around. Oop. Avoid that. I was trying to hit the bomb. Okay. Yeah, if I only dodge a minute amount with those chains, they don't hedge me in nearly as aggressively. Okay. He's got a phase two. Of course he's got a... Ow. He's got a phase ouch. Okay, he's doing chains again. Oh, damn it. Clipped me. Yeah, I want to think about my positioning, but it's kind of tough because he's still got all those bombs in play that I'm not the best at clearing out. Okay, I'm I'm getting better at it. It's just a matter of I only have three HP, which makes this a little tougher. Okay, toss the knife. There we go. I don't actually have to shoot the rocks. There we go. Okay, don't be to the side of him. Oh boy. Oh boy. That went poorly.
See if I can just... Nope, never mind. Don't be underneath him. Don't be near the boy. It ain't worth it. Hell yeah, daggers. This I'm getting better at getting through this room, and I think I'm making money? This looks hard. I... Th ish? I think the big problem is, once again, I am just not a human being that is built for bullet hells. I focus on, like, one or two things, and that's it. Ah, oh, well. This is rough. I think that was the only... Oh, uh, okay. I think we're good. Okay, switch to machine gun. Stay away from that. Yeah, I really just have to make sure I'm not between him and the, uh... Ugh. There we go. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I yeah, just gotta make sure I'm not between him and that kind of central area. Because he will 100% just wallop me. Okay. Getting better at noticing what I'm supposed to be aiming for. And we're good. Perfect. And like I said, just gotta get used to the patterns. Yeah, hard is a relative term. It's true. I can see this getting, like, pretty brutal later on. Okay. But maybe with some healing abilities or something. Ooh, Wrecking Ball. Conjure the memory of Abraxas and swing two Wrecking Balls horizontally to the left and right of the caster. I did it. Can't believe I did it. After all these years, for a moment, I felt like a real Night Witch. But Fururu, are you really gone? Was that real? I can't... I just can't believe it. But I have to push forward. Akai needs me. Must rescue Husbando. Can I go up? I can. Hello. Oh. Ah. Well, there is no dodging that. There was some dodging that. Oh. Ooh. Armoire. For blacksmith connoisseurs, collect these magazines to learn new armor recipes for the underbakers. Neat. Okay, so we got that. We got a couple of doors. Oh, it brings us back. You know what? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go down and save before I die. Okay, that does heal me. So why do the Underbaker sell cupcakes then? Okay, so we have a new one. Plate of Seeking Swords protects you from one impact, then spawns three Seeking Swords to chase your opponents. Oh, that's fun. So I wonder if the green crystals are mostly just resources for consumables and whatever the uh, the key coins are. Those are used for more permanent upgrades. Maybe. Well, this doesn't look like it's in a good state. And that's the demo. Well, one way or another, absolutely fantastic. Obviously, a little hard for me, but I think a lot of that is just getting used to it. Because there, there are a lot of shmups that are like this game. But no Metroidvanias. And honestly, the idea of combining uh, Metroid Metroidvania mechanics with more like bullet hell shmups kind of gameplay is weird. But I'm honestly just surprised no one else has done it before. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this one. I don't think I'm going to stream a full playthrough just because commentary makes me so much worse in a game. Uh, but I think I will play this because there ain't no other Metroidvanias like it, and I'm looking forward to seeing where they where we go with that. Uh, I swear if Akai is working with them, I will be so mad. I would be upset too. I hope Akai is a good boy the whole time. If you made that training room to keep her away from the fighting, oh gosh, yeah, that would be rough. Or he knew it was going to happen, so he made it so she wouldn't get captured. Or he made it to get her away from the fighting initially in the cave, so that when when the attack came, she'd have a chance of fighting back. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just hoping he remains a good bean because it would be sad if we have evil husband. I want I want good spouses in my video games. I just want more like actual married couples though. Like that's that's something I will continuously go back to. Of like, not enough games have living uh, relatives 
let alone romantic partners. Uh, let alone, like, actual spouses and stuff. And so it's kind of neat to have that. Uh, and so, I don't know. It's it's a thing that I, I'm glad to see in this one and hope to see more just in general. Only kisses allowed if, as the credit rolls. I mean, I'd be fine with that. As long as it's just implied that they have a nice nice relationship outside. I don't need them to be macking out constantly in the game. That'd be weird. But, anyway, if you guys want to try this demo yourselves, it's available on Steam right now. I think it's probably only going to last until the end of the uh, Steam Next Fest, somewhere around October 10th. But don't quote me on that one because I'm probably wrong. I'm also very much looking forward to seeing all the different spells in play. Because it looks like there's uh, summons and some other things you can play with. So I'm really looking forward to that. But, for now at least, let's move on to the next. How do I quit? <laughs> can I only quit if I hit the wish list now button? That's <laughs> fine, I can alt F4. That's dirty though. And it's already on my wish list, so it doesn't matter. 